Do not be afraid to see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. Let us pray. Astounding God, you are here, here among us, wrapped in our skin, closer than our breath, sharing our vulnerability, filling every heart with love. In all the pain and heartaches of human life, in the mess of muddle, in the chaos of suffering, in the fear and the courage and the hope, you take your place beside us. God of light and love, you are with us. We worship you. Amen. And the word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory as of our father's only son, full of grace and truth. Alleluia. Christ is born. God is with us. Alleluia. Amen. Light a candle in a darkened place. In its flame, see hope on every face. Christ our Savior will be born. Heralding a brand new dawn. So let it burn. see the coming light word of god speaks through the darkest night keep a watch the time is near time for hope and not for fear so let it burn stepping through each page of history prophets contemplate this mystery celebrate the coming king Words of joy and hope they bring, so let it burn. In the desert now the waiting's done, make things ready for your king, says John. See his glory is revealed, and the hope for all is sealed, so let it burn. Mary found true favor with the Yet she trembled at his strange reward Knew this was the special one Hope for many through God's Son So let it burn Do not fear, today I bring good cheer Jesus Christ the Saviour now is here God has lit his flame of love through his son from heaven above so let it burn the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it a prayer of praise for christmas day lord jesus we praise and adore you that you came as the living word to be the voice of the voiceless that you came as the light in the darkness to bring us hope. 
that you came as the Lamb of God to transform our brutality. That you came from eternity to the earth to heal all creation. That you came as the child of humility and the servant of love to release Christmas within our hearts. <coughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the many gifts you have given us, the people, the love, the possibilities that weave their way into our days. Tell us again about forgiveness that frees us, about love that is boundless, about peace that passes all understanding. Christmas, the gift of you that introduces us to each other. Amen. shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. The reading is from John chapter 1, verses 1 to 14, in the contemporary English version. The Word of Life In the beginning was the one who is called the Word. The Word was with God, and was truly God. From the very beginning the Word was with God. And with this word, God created all things. Nothing was made without the word. Everything that was created received its life from him. And his life gave light to everyone. The light keeps shining in the dark. And darkness has never put it out. God sent a man named John, who came to tell about the light and to lead all people to have faith. John wasn't that light. He came only to tell about the light. The true light that shines on everyone was coming into the world. The word was in the world, but no one knew him, though God had made the world with his word. He came into his own world, but his own nation did not welcome him. Yet some people accepted him and put their faith in him. So he gave them the right to be the children of God. They were not God's children by nature or because of any human desires. God himself was the one who made them his children. The word became a human being and lived here with us. We saw his true glory, the glory of the only son of the father, from him, 
all the kindness and all the truth of God have come down to us. Thanks be to God. Christmas Day, a very different Christmas Day, and this year I'm wishing a hopeful Christmas. It seems so much more appropriate for the situation that we're in at the moment. This reading from John's Gospel, in a more modern translation, so not perhaps quite as familiar for some, but it includes that wonderfully powerful verse 5. The light keeps shining in the dark, and darkness has never put it out. That light, which is Jesus. That light that we remember, that we celebrate in different ways. Different this year from what we had hoped. Certainly different from other years. And yet we hold to the knowledge and the hope that the darkness does not destroy the light. And so as you mark Christmas Day in whatever ways you are able this year, know that you do so in the presence and the light of Christ. And just as it has been dark in different ways through history and feels dark around us today, the darkness will not triumph. And God's kingdom is coming. And God calls us to be part of building that kingdom on earth, that kingdom that is about justice about lifting up the hurting, about including all people, about peace and hope. That kingdom is coming and God is calling us to be part of it. So we celebrate in whatever ways we can. Perhaps if we are alone, it's celebrating with the freedom just to decide what works for us not feeling the pressures to conform. Perhaps for some of us, it's a very virtual experience, connecting to family and friends over the internet. Whatever it might be for you, God is with us. And may we celebrate that God doesn't need all the things that we often take for granted about our lives. And that God will be with us as we work for a better future, using the gifts he continues to pour out on us. So we remember a baby born without power or privilege who changed the world. And may God continue to change the world as she works in us and through us for the coming year. Wishing you all a hopeful Christmas. Amen. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it.
When I say, Lord, in your mercy, please respond. Hear our prayer. Christ, from whom there was no room in the inn, give courage to all who are homeless, all who have nowhere to live, have no money to support themselves. Let them have a sense of your love and grace over the Christmas period. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Christ, who fled into Egypt, give comfort to all refugees. These people are finding life very difficult at the moment and there feels like there is no light at the end of the tunnel. Please show them that light. Give them that hope that they will be helped and find a place where they can call home. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Christ, who fasted in the desert, give relief to all who are starving. Show the families of all those in poverty and oppression the way to go, the path that they need to go on so that they can be helped to find peace in their struggling lives. Please also show people how to help and give them the prompt they need to be able to see how they can help people in need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Christ, who hung in agony on the cross, give strength to all who suffer. Give strength to all the families that are dealing with loss at this time. We offer up all the people who we know that are suffering or dealing with loss. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of the Church, hear our prayer and make us one in heart and mind to serve you with joy forever. Amen. And so, as we continue to marvel at the love of God experienced at Christmas and to celebrate his light and hope in the world and in our lives, may the blessing of God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen.